Jones. Let's go, 30 yards. And the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit. Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to say. This is taken just shy of the 10. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Now we see Sammy Watkins getting ready to go again on offense. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. A second broken tackle. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. This one angles out of bounds at a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. down looking for his running back and he's got him good strength but not able to get a whole lot tackled shy of the 10 they'll contain him to just four second down at the nine yard line from the gun rogers the left side completion to jones and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case. Down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Rodgers throwing on first down. And man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least, that went out of bounds. You're exactly right, and as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. 
Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Here's Rodgers on first and 10. He's going to take off with it. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are back with it a score. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. Now he's got it. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Free. We could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. So my goodness, I would have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field, where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. From the 27, Rodgers. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Seven. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The first carry down for the BYU man, it's Jamal Williams. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Get the 
And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And the 13-year man puts it through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there. And that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. Charles, this one's going to 